You probably are familiar with nutraceuticals, that's vitamins, minerals, enzymes, natural over-the-counter hormones, uh, all kinds of herbs and uh, flower essences and homeopathic remedies. And so there's this whole world of nutraceuticals. Well, there's a new world of infoceuticals. They do not contain nutrient uh, supply, uh, supply of nutrients or herbs. They contain information. And the information is imprinted on, on a mineral base. So there's a trace mineral, uh, colloidal mineral carrier in, in, a, in a liquid, mostly water base, 95% water, 5% ethanol, for a, just a slight sense of, of preservation, not enough to uh, technically be a preservative under FDA, that would be like 20% that's now required in, in homeopathics, they just increased the amount. But, uh, so it's a very subtle thing, and yet it's a very profound effect. You can have detoxification reactions, which is to me a strong sign that these are powerful healing tools. Let me describe a little bit, first the background, where does this come from? Uh, I started doing Vega Test method 30 years ago, which is a German diagnostic electroacupuncture method where we can measure the body's stress response to energetic stimuli. And we use these little vials, little ampules uh, that are all sealed up in glass that have particular substances, usually in, in a certain potency and, uh, or can be the raw material in some cases. We were measuring the body's response to those. And there was an acupuncturist uh, trained in England, but Australian, he, he went back to Australia after he was trained and actually wound up starting the first, uh, first accredited acupuncture school there in the university. And his name is Peter Fraser. Uh, he did 30 years of investigation because he was just fascinated, as I am, with the, the causal chaining, the cause and effect relationships, the, the resonance between the, the different uh, signals that the body communicates. And so he kept mapping these out, just adding and adding and adding to the map. And so uh, he, for example, mapped the, the, the meridian relationships with different uh, chemical components in the body, with different organs, tish, tissues, with different emotions and different vibrations, different frequencies. So uh, the meridians, turned out to resonate with and communicate with all of these other things around that meridian. So a certain meridian really relates to certain types of emotional states, another meridian, different emotional states. And, and some of that information is, is very much confirmative, confirmatory of the information handed down in traditional Chinese or Oriental medicine. And some of it's very new, because certainly the chemistries weren't, there's no, <laughs> no, no language for that in ancient China. They didn't have that level of chemical knowledge. So he's extended it, and, and in some cases, it, it, just like electroacupuncture, we wind up with the lung meridian in a slightly different location. There's some variation between different systems. And we're looking through a different, different window, different keyhole, looking at the same system, but we wind up with slightly varying views. So Peter Fraser's research was then put into uh, into technology by one of his patients whom he, he healed uh, of chronic fatigue syndrome. And that company, now Ness uh, Nutri Energetic Systems out of London, England, and with branches around the world, uh, and four, over 4,000 practitioners actively using this system, uh, it's, it's very, very powerful, especially in, in the deeper aspects of healing and in the deeper aspects of the consciousness and psyche. Uh, information really is the root, the core, of, of ultimately of all healing, uh, our, 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 our structure of our body is determined by the chemistry that makes it up, right? But what determines how the chemistry changes and how the chemistry moves? Well, that's energy. And what sends the energy in a certain direction is information. It's, our, it's the resonance, it's the thoughts. So thoughts at a conscious level, but the energetic resonance of information at, at the quantum level as well. And so this works at that very, very deep level, and as well as at the conscious level of the psyche. Within the infoceuticals, as they're called, these information medicine drops that go in your water, uh, there's the basics of the body energy field, which can be out of alignment with its environment. That's a huge 
common factor initially that we need to correct. There's the, the, the day-night uh, diurnal rhythm, the, the cycling of that, that can be out of balance. Uh, and then there's the, the resonance of the cells and tissues and organs with environmental energy, especially the near-infrared peak that we talk about in, in the little talk about infrared. Uh, if your cells are not, don't have that structured water to be able to absorb the near infrared, now they're not only low energy to start with, but they have less of a, an antenna to absorb more energy from other cells, so they become isolated. This is the case with cancer cells. Cancer cells are out of communication with the rest of the body, which is why they progressively become less and less like the tissue that they started out, and, and you can't even identify them as, you know, being from that, that, uh, that organ at, in the advanced levels. Uh, so so this, these infraceuticals can be needed to reactivate that resonance, that source resonance, they call it, in, at the cellular level in, in a particular tissue or in the body as a whole. The sort, these are called drivers. So it's a, a, a drop that goes in your water. You stir it, but not with metal because they have an electrical charge that's going to be, that's going to help uh, carry that information into the, the rest of the water when you stir it. You can stir it with plastic. Even better would be wood or bamboo. Take a chopstick and stir it up. Uh, so you have the the drivers, the, the integrators, which I talked about, that's the, the meridian complexes. And then we have terrains. Terrains are conditions, particular conditions in certain body systems that make us susceptible to, to toxicity or to a virus or to a bacterial infection. The, the terrains are a deeper complex that we don't usually uh, we don't usually use those drops as treatment in the first three months of, of Ness uh, therapy. Uh, and the same is true with the STARS, which are functional complexes, but that involve you know, multiple drivers and integrators, for example. So usually for the first three months, we'll use the more basic drivers and integrators and, and general psycho-emotional and whole body energy field regulating drops. And then uh, if something's still showing up, down the line, we can go in a, a little stronger with the terrains and stars. Mm -hmm.